Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Everyman Carpentry. My name's Tom Greenwood and I'm here at the shop today and I wanted to take a minute to talk about some of the more common defects you'll find in uh, dimensional lumber. The thing about trees is that they um, are living things so uh, they're subject to all the things that living things are. One of those being that most living things uh, don't like straight lines. They don't grow in straight lines and so when we go to get lumber out of a tree we have to fight the fact that the tree was alive and the way it grew um, was not in a straight line so to that end uh, there'll be warps and defects in the wood um, I'm gonna talk about a few of those defects that come up and uh, a little bit about um, why they might occur and in one instance how we use that actually in building uh, houses and stuff like that so uh, let's go to a couple sample pieces that I have here all right, so we're here in the shop, right? And I got uh, three pieces of lumber. Um, two from a scrap pile. We have some piles of stuff outside that we use for all kinds of building projects here on my friend's property. Um, and one piece of lumber that came from the store pretty recently. Um, so the first thing is that we can see is that this one in the middle is very much uh, not straight or true. So what it is, is it looks like the rocking of a, uh, like the rocker of a rocking chair. And uh, this is a very extreme example of what's called bowing. And uh, bowing uh, happens a lot of times when the wood gets wet and is exposed to sun. It will try and curl up. So this board's been outside for a long time, and it's very bowed. Um, while we're looking at this board, we'll see something else in it. Let's get in close right here. This cracking here all along, that's called checking. And checking happens as a result of drying. And if the wood dries really fast, that checking will be very pronounced. Um, the other thing is that checking can go very deep. As we see here, there's a, this crack, this check is at the end grain, but also it goes all the way into this piece of wood here. Um, so that's checking. And when the checking's inside of it, it's called internal checking. So that's one board. This other board, this board was on a deck or something. It's been pressure treated. It's a piece of pressure treated wood. Um, so what it has is some most severe things. But the thing I pulled out to show the example is right here on the end. This is called, see how it's bowed in the, across its width? That's called cupping. Okay, and all boards to some extent will have bowing and all boards to some extent will have cupping and usually checking too. Uh, but this is an extreme example of of cupping and you'll see this uh, happen very frequently too um, as wood ages or it's not banded. The other thing is that let me turn this wood on its side um, if we can get a look at it I don't know if we can see if you look diagonally from this corner all the way down what you'll see is that the board actually has twist in it so the board um, is cupped and it's twisted and it's also bowed a little bit and I wouldn't be surprised if it's got um, what's called spring and uh, there's a little bit of spring in this board and what that is is when the bowing goes in this direction where it's from like this corner all the way to the other corner and it's kind of like humped up like a rainbow uh, they call that spring okay now spring is actually kind of a useful thing to use when you're building with uh, dimensional lumber they just bring you a big old rack of it you'll order it from the lumber yard and they'll bring you some two by fours or some two by sixes and what you'll do is you'll look down the board and you'll say well which way does the hump go and uh, on this board it looks like it might be double humped so what you'll do is when that spring occurs you'll take it and you'll set it so that whichever way that the board is bowed on that spring you'll set it up and that's called crowning the boards and in your house the um, in the rafters and everything they've crowned all of that wood and they put it up so that over time the weight of the house causes it to settle down and instead of your your floor ending up with a with a valley in it it kind of flattens out over time so that's actually a use of the spring uh, we crown the boards and put them up but as you can see this board that came from the lumber yard, it's been inside under pressure. Um, we're going to use it for some building inside the shop. It's in pretty good shape because um, it's been stacked up. This one's been outside in the sun. We see what happens. So don't leave your stuff outside to get wet or the sun on it or you'll end up with a nice bow. Um, 
and uh, twist happens too. It's just natural part of it. But those are some uh, naturally occurring defects or, um, it, I don't know, it's stuff that happens in wood. All wood has some kind of bowing, cupping, springing twist to it. So those are a few of the um, more common defects that can happen with wood due to drying or exposure to elements, sunshine, rain, water, hot and cold, humidity. Uh, so it happens, it's part of it. Um, the part of carpentry, the challenge or the fun of carpentry is taking a piece of wood that's a, a that was alive and it has its own personality or characters to it and, and working with those traits to get something beautiful or uh, um, creating something out of the wood like planing it down, edging it, everything, so that it's a square piece of stock. Um, there are ways to do both. Um, not all carpentry is beautiful and square and straight and true. Um, a lot of people do amazing stuff with very curly, bent, twisty stuff. It's amazing. Um, and there's whole uh, branches of carpentry that are developed to how do I take wood and bend it so that I can get something from it. Um, and we may or may not get to some of that in our future projects, only time will tell. But I wanted to clue you guys in on a few of the defects you will see in common lumber um, as part of building your knowledge base on um, what wood is and what to look for and what some of the problems are so we can build a vocabulary. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, let me know if you need uh, more information on something. If you already know it, if I can help you, or um, if I'm talking too much, whatever. You guys let me know, and uh, I'll do what I can. So I hope you guys are getting some value, and I'll talk to you guys in the future. Um, have a good day. Bye.